Dean DeLeo, the riff master behind Stone Temple Pilots, is a guitarist whose sound has both grit and melody. His tones are often wide-ranging, from warm, mellow choruses to dirty, overdriven chaos, and a big part of his sonic identity can be attributed to the effects pedals that he uses. For guitarists who admire his style, or just pedal enthusiasts curious about what's on his board, here's a quick look at some of the pedals DeLeo uses to shape his tone. The SIB Electronics Vera Drive is a tube-driven overdrive pedal that can produce a warm, bluesy crunch or a snarling, gritty overdrive. This pedal pairs well with vintage amps and enhances his ability to cut through the mix with rich harmonics and punchy attack. The real tube in the Vera Drive gives Dean that natural tube amp distortion, but in pedal form, making it a vital part of his tone on tracks like Interstate Love Song, where grit beats clarity. Next up is the Ampeg Scrambler. This pedal delivers a chaotic yet controlled distortion that can go from subtle breakup to full-on fuzz mayhem. It has the ability to blend the dry and wet signals, which means that DeLeo can retain note definition while introducing wild fuzz textures into the mix. Listen to STP's heavier material, like Sex Type Thing, and you'll hear the scrambler pushing his guitar into fuzzy, overdriven territory, making his riffs sound both thick and aggressive. DeLeo is a sucker for lush chorus tones, and the Boss CE2W Chorus Waza Craft Edition is a modern update on a vintage classic. This pedal offers both the CE1 and CE2 circuits, allowing him to achieve shimmering choruses and spatial soundscapes that work especially well in STP's more atmospheric tracks. For songs like Big Empty or Sour Girl, the CE2W brings out the dreamy, fluid textures that make those ballads soar, giving his clean tones a bit of sparkle and movement. Though he now has the Waza Craft version, Gene DeLeo still uses the original Boss CE1 Chorus Ensemble. This pedal is known for its wide, sweeping modulation and vintage circuitry. It provides a rich chorus effect that is the cornerstone of DeLeo's clean tone. The CE-1's ability to create swirling, lush soundscapes fits perfectly with the more spacey, psychedelic moments in songs like Plush and other STP classics. The next pedal on the list is the Dunlop Echoplex EP-103. This pedal delivers rich, tape-like delays with a warm and slightly dirty texture. The Echoplex's modulation and age controls allow DeLeo to replicate that old-school, decayed delay tone, perfect for adding atmosphere to both clean and dirty passages. It is especially useful for creating the moody, echo-laden intros and interludes in songs like Vaseline and Big Bang Baby, giving the impression of a far-off expanding sound. A surprise on DeLeo's pedal board is the Maestro BB-1 Bass Brassmaster, Originally designed for bassists, it also has found a home in Dean's guitar rig. This fuzz pedal delivers an aggressive, octave-rich fuzz, perfect for when DeLeo needs his guitar to rumble like an earthquake. Though primarily meant for low-end instruments, DeLeo uses it to thicken up his riffs and lead lines. Lastly, the Maestro MPF-1 parametric filter is a secret weapon for tone shaping. Unlike a typical EQ pedal, the MPF-1 allows Dean to dial in specific frequencies with precision, helping him cut or boost mids, highs, or lows to fit the mix. This pedal is especially useful in live situations where getting the right EQ can make all the difference in clarity and punch. DeLeo likely uses this filter to adjust his tone for different venues, ensuring his guitar cuts through regardless of the acoustics. It also gives him control over shaping his sound to suit a particular song's feel. Dean DeLeo's pedal board allows him to go from crystalline clear tones to earth-shattering distortion. Whether you're looking to capture psychedelic sounds or grungy, fuzz-laden riffs, this breakdown offers a roadmap to unlocking his sonic toolkit.